still be getting the number one player, which is cool. We we get the number one class transfer. Come on to South Carolina. We will we'll, <laughs> we'll treat you. We we'll treat you way we'll better than Gino will. All right, y'all. Welcome back to the channel, man. I'm really happy about this one. I'm really happy about this one. You know, shout out Joe. Shout out Joe. You know, Joe hit me up uh, after when it came out. Someone sent it to him, and he was like. Bro, I didn't know you was going to put it out as a uh, the debate thing. I thought we were talking about the draft. I was like, my bad, brother. You know what I'm saying? Like, most of the video just ended up the way the conversation went. We mostly talked about this debate. So that's what the title of the video was because I felt like if I said the title of the video was the draft, then it would have been misleading. So I apologize, Joe. I wanted to apologize in front of everybody and stuff like that. If you are new to the channel, this is The Road to 2K Subs. Today, like I said, I'm so excited because we finally got another fan's perspective. We got a South Carolina fan, man. We got my boy, Ash. Ash, what's good, man? Talk to the people. Let them know what's up. What's up, everybody? I'm Ashley Knuckles, a.k.a. Terrell. Um, I'm on here right now to represent my Gamecock women like they need to be represented. Um. You know, there's a lot of talk out there, you know, about UConn, which I'm not going to lie. UConn is a great program, very great program. But South Carolina will be the new Tennessee of the league. Just watch it. It's coming now. Uh -oh, While okay. UConn, UConn, UConn does get the number one player, but we get the number one class. Oh, one that, player. Wait, wait, wait. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Run, run that back, Ash. Run that back, Ash. Say that last part once again for the people who didn't hear in the back. UConn gets number one players. South Carolina gets number one, well, number one class. That's what I would say. We get the number one class. Well, we haven't gotten them all the time, but within the last couple of years, we've been getting the number one classes, which lets you know that a lot of these players now want to come play for Dawn Staley. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these players see they self in Dawn Staley. Nothing to the white players. I love everybody. You know what I'm saying? There's one thing about me. I love everybody. Katie Lou and that school. I love them all because they're ballers and I love ballers. But Joel saying that, you know, basically that Asia Wilson can't hold a candle to Katie Lou, I think that is very much nonsense, you know. Like, as far as an Asia shooting threes, Dawn Stelly, if you notice, Dawn Stelly doesn't have her team shooting a lot of threes like that. So I believe that's just in her system. That's why Asia haven't really been, wasn't really throwing up those threes like that. But, um, like I said, you know, shout out to UConn. I give them much respect. But my opinion, I feel their championship years, the league was kind of like, I mean, I don't want to disrespect any of the women. I just feel that a lot of the teams wasn't as good as they are today. And you can see the gap closing between UConn and the other teams that, like, you know, as in the Baylors and the South Carolinas and, you know, the big teams like that. But, um, you know, I, you know, I love um, the rookie I have and plus, ZZ, I think that's how you say her name. AZ, is that how you pronounce yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, AZ coming in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, AZ coming in, which I, you know, she, she's a shooter. She's a marksman. But like I said, it's going to take more than two to stop what we got coming. You know what I'm saying? That number one class coming in, we will be back in the finals, and I believe next year we're going to win it. I believe if we would have never had the pandemic, we was going to win it that year. Wasn't nobody going to stop us that year. We was run, running through everybody that year. So, so you're talking since about she was, over – Go, go ahead. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, 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 let me ask you one question about that. Because I think it's like three or four teams who claimed the national championship in the pandemic. There's Baylor, there's Oregon, there's UConn, and then there's y'all, South Carolina. So uh, for, I guess, you, you say they would take down Oregon. Why? Um, well, Oregon, I'm, I'm going to get to them. But as far as in Baylor, we took them out in the little Caribbean, over the little uh, tournament they had overseas. I mean, you know, across the waters. We uh we we you know we knocked them off in a in a little tournament. As far as in UConn, oh we punished them by twenty lad, you know, that that year. Um now as far as in the ducks, I believe that was the team that was gonna give us the run for our money. Not saying that we would have beat them, but I believe that was that would have been a good matchup with the Nescu and um Sabali. Yeah. I believe, you know, Kiki. Uh, Kiki, Kiki Herbert Harrigan and, you know, Ty Harris and them girls, but they was ready, man. I don't really see nobody that was going to stop them. So the pandemic kind of shut down, I believe, which would have been one of the best, one of the best tournaments in a long time. 
For sure, for sure. And I, uh, you know, I think that's where like a lot of the momentum really started from this year. Uh, you know, obviously we talked about Paige and everything that she brought through the high school ranks of being famous on the internet and stuff like that. But I think like, you know, um, the tragedy of Kobe, you know, Kobe passes in January. Uh, everybody's like, all right, girl, dad, we're going to support women's basketball. Sabrina speaks at the funeral. Sabrina goes from the most famous in women's basketball to like the most famous in basketball. <laughs> like overnight right. when she spoke at that funeral. So now she's riding with all this momentum into the tournament. And like, like you said, like that tournament would have been like, cause you know, like you say, you had those, uh, you know, uh, those narratives with, with Ty Harris and what y'all had going on over there at South Carolina. Uh, Ty, you know, I was just watching one of her interviews earlier today uh, from last year. Shout out to Girls Talk Sports TV uh, with Christina Williams, I believe her name is. She just made four, 30 on the 30. Shout out to her, black woman doing it. Um, but, you know, I was watching her interview with Ty Harris last year in the bubble. And, you know, they were just talking about like, man, we would have got it. I know we would have got it. You know, with Kiki. Because like you said, that was that fourth year. They build up to it. They already had the championship experience. That would have been great to see. That would have been a great battle to see. And, and it would have got so much attention. But I think they made up for it this year. I think that's what really – I think that's what really hurt uh, South Carolina this year as far as in the tournament. We didn't have that big that could hit jumpers like Kiki Herbert Harrigan was doing. You know, with her, you couldn't give her a 10-foot or a 15-foot because she was going to ice that all day. And she was shot from three. Maybe not a 40% shooter, but she was she was pretty good. So, you know, as far as in, I was just thinking about what Joel was saying about, um, you know, Inescu. Inescu was a triple-double machine. You know what I'm saying? That's Most why I triple give her doubles in the history of college basketball, right? Exactly. Not only was she going to give you points, she was going to give you rebounds and assists. You know what I'm saying? So that, to me, that's an all-around player. She was very special. So I, I give that to her. And like you said, uh, the Liberty sucks. I, I'm sorry. Sorry, New York Liberty women. But Worst y'all basketball not, y'all team, team I've ever team. watched in my good. life. Worst basketball team ever. In any level. Middle school girls. High school, <laughs> talking about private school, middle school girl. As a New York Liberty worst in, in a bubble last year. Worst basketball team I've seen in my life. Continue. Now, I heard you and Joel saying that y'all believe Stewie is the best player in the world right now. I, 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 I would have to question that between her and uh, Elena Deladon. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Deladon, nice. Deladon, nice, but... I think I think that's a little bit of recency bias on my part. I seen Bree come back from a year off, you know, with the injury. Uh, I think you know someone. Uh, I believe it was Mariano Smith, and it might be uh, Marlano Smith. Marlano Smith. I'm sorry uh, if if I can't get the L and the I in your name right, but I see you in the comments down there talking about um, you know uh, the the fact that it was an ACT. Uh, he said an ACT. I never heard of that, but but he he said it wasn't an ACL tear. Um, he said it was something else that they kept Bree out for a year. But whatever it was, for her to come back from the year and still win the championship and still be a player she was before, arguably better. I don't know. I, I thought that was extremely impressive. So that, that's why I have her still number one in the world. Right, and I and I um also heard uh Joel saying you know talking about as far as like Asia getting the statue, being that that was you know um just for having one championship. And that was hilarious. That was hilarious. But he also got to understand, South Carolina was one of the worst bottom feeders before Dawn Stelly came and started bringing our program up. So Connecticut was already established. They're, you know, they're one of the top tiers, you know what I'm saying? So all, all the best players was coming through UConn, you know what I'm saying? Now times is changing. Like I said, yeah, they still be getting the number one player, which is cool. We we get the number one class. And that's what pushes you over the hump. One player can take you take you far, but I believe you also, you got to have at least a bench or maybe two maybe two more other starters or bench players that could give you something. You know what I mean? And not, not putting anything past you, Conker. Like I said, great. I just don't like, I just don't like they center. I forgot, I can't think of her name right this moment. Uh, What's her uh, name? Olivia um, Nelson, the daughter. Olivia Nelson or Dota. Yes, exactly. I believe she's, I don't know. I just think Gino be getting on her a little bit too much. I don't know what goes on in practice, but it's like, it seems to me, I think he'd be taking her confidence. Me personally. 
As soon as she get a quick foul, you ready to take her out. You know? And I believe she could be a better player. She just need to come on, transfer. Come on to South Carolina. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll treat you, we'll treat you way better than Gino will. You know what I'm saying? And you'll guarantee being in the final four. Not saying that UConn not, because they they most likely gonna be there next year. But I just can't wait till we match up with them again. You know what I'm saying? That that game against um Stanford, whoo, that broke my heart right there. That broke my heart. That that yeah, kickball yeah. I think should have been called back. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That that one on Zaya, yeah, yeah, that one on Zaya. And then but and then the oh I, I feel for Aliyah. I was watching yeah. um I was looking at the USA team, Team USA trials they just started. And Aaliyah was right there smiling on the court. And I was like, oh, I just feel so bad for that baby, man. Missed that little bunny at the bus. Yes, because that was like, it happened like twice in one year. First against UConn, then against Stanford. I was like, oh, man, she just she just keep missing these little easy bunnies right there. But, you know, I, you know, there was a lot of pressure going on at the time. The clock was going down. Bree Bill was trying to make it and do her little layup and kind of miscalculated her, her layup and – it came right into her hands, into uh, Boston's hands for her to lay it back in, and the touch was just a little bit too hard. But that's okay. We'll be back, and we'll make it happen this uh, 2021, going into 2022. Now, you know, Ash, we were just talking right before we recorded about, uh, you know, I was mentioning the Hawks, and then you were like, oh, yeah, you're from Atlanta. You know, one of the players, one of your top, you know, prospects is from Atlanta. I haven't reacted to her yet. I haven't watched her yet. Um, I've kind of skipped her intentionally every time I saw her pop up just to save it for a reaction this summer. Uh, but Raven Johnson right. from Atlanta, do you have any um, any kind of insight on her? Because I haven't seen her yet. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't really have a lot of insight on her. But um, from what I hear, um, if I'm correct, she's supposed to be, what, the number two player? Uh, she she's up there. She's up there. I know she just. Yeah, I believe she was. I believe home. she was ranked number two, right? But right behind is uh, Az. I'm not I, I for sure though. But if I'm correct, I do believe I'm she's going the number two. Right now. I'm going up there right now. I believe I we have the number two, the number six. I know. I know all four of our 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 signees is up there ranked. So that's why we got that number one class again. <laughs> I, I I just feel we're gonna we go. be a beast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's number two. And you, what the heck? Y'all got number two, three, and four? Hey, that's what we do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Y'all got a girl from Forest Park, too. Y'all got two Atlanta girls here. Yeah, I, I know both of these girls. I've heard of both of these girls all season because, um, you know, I'm from Atlanta. But And then Sanayo uh, Rivers. You know what, so you know personally what they bring to the table. With a little coaching from Dawn, those girls going to take it right to the top. Y'all got, got two, three, four. Oh, that's yeah, but but look, you kind of got number five, Caroline, who you know everybody's telling me about, or Caroline, excuse me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Uh, who I'm gonna react to? I'm gonna react to all these girls in some all top five. Um, let me see, let me see. If y'all got anything else, Stanford got some names. I'm seeing Stanford. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. I guess y'all don't uh, like. I was talking to Joel, and Joel was like, "Yeah, we don't recruit that low. <laughs> we don't recruit out the top 20." Yeah, that that's it. Y'all stop at the top five. That's crazy. That is absolutely yes. insane. Oh no, no, no! no. Just yeah, hoping... I got someone right here at number fourteen. But yeah, no one yeah, outside uh, the top uh, fifteen. I think her last name is Hall or something like that. Yeah, uh, Aubriana Hall. Aubriana Hall. Hall. Yeah, that's her name. Mm-hmm. All right, let me stop sharing. Where are we at? Where are we? They just they said she's a good deep. I have a little insight on her. They said she's a good defensive player. Which is mm-hmm. something we need, one of those wing players. Yeah. But um, I just feel Dawn Stelly just need to open up with them threes a little bit more. You know what I mean? So that way we could kind of pull away from a lot of our opponents. Not saying that we don't be dragging a lot of our opponents, but yeah, we um, we do pretty good in the SEC, man. Like I said, no, no, no disrespect to UConn, but I just believe they need to come to a they need to come to the SEC. Come on to the SEC, man. Come get some of this good competition. Hey, hey, but but but, but, you, but 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 did you see my uh my, my UConn uh South Carolina reaction? <laughs> yeah, I watched it. That because that one was one of the big ones where everybody was you know talking at all the page reactions at the beginning of the season. Oh, but they ain't playing nobody. So I was like, okay, all right, SEC. All right, here we go, SEC play. It was the like Arkansas and uh, uh t- Tennessee, but everybody was like, okay, wait, wait, wait into South Carolina. 
And I was, oh man, I love seeing Paige just do that to y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. That, I love that, watching her do that to y'all. You know what? And even though she did it, she did it to us, I appreciate it because I love good basketball. And I gotta give it to Paige. You know, there's a lot of haters out there on her. But you know, when you're good, you're good. There's just no other way around it. You know what I'm saying? And I recognize good talent and she has it all. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, oh. her, her this, and she's not even reached her ceiling yet. You know what I'm saying? She's still she's still growing. So by the time she hit the WNBA, man, she should be she should be a very good polished player. Well, well, I got a great question for you now because that like that kind of walks into it of you know you're um, obviously like like a black fan from South Carolina, black South Carolina fan. A lot of I feel like uh do I want to say it like that? Mm, I don't know if I want to say it like that, but I feel like a lot of uh, people in, in our community. Um, They've kind of talked down on Paige and uh, and and Sabrina Onescu, like kind of because they feel like the media always kind of puts the white players, the good white players, ahead of the good black players. So for you to have one of the best players in the country with Aaliyah Boston, also Zaya is one of the best guards in the country, but Aaliyah Boston's really, you know, kind of like it for you guys. Um, how do you feel about the the kind of attention that Boston gets versus? a page do you feel like it's warranted at all like how do you feel about that well i i, I would say this Paige is she's more of an output scorer than Aaliyah boston and i'm not I mean, i'm not gonna hate she deserves the credit that she's getting but i do i do believe that uh you know women's college basketball do kind of tend to lean towards the white play a little bit more you know i don't want to sound bad by saying that but um, if you really think back, we I can't really think of no black female player besides Maya Moore that was really getting that kind of recognition like I'll that. I'll say, I'll, I'll, talk, I'll say, I'll say, Candice and Skylar Diggins. Well, who's true that. Skylar Diggins Smith? But but yeah, I true that. Those. You know, being that they, being that they don't graduated for a good little minute, I kind of forgot about <laughs> them. <but> yeah, <laughs> me, I, I well, Skylar Diggins. I mean, she was good. But I think it was more her looks than anything. Well, well, I was saying and like really, attention as far as, you know, just attention. Like, yeah. Sorry, Skylar. You know, I, I love you to death. But uh, you know what? She deserved it. She deserved it. Because, you know, she didn't work. She put in work. I, I can't she's say like she she's was a rubbing anything. We, we were talking about that. I, I cut it. I cut out a lot of it uh, from the conversation with Joe yesterday of the Kaiser. You, you know, you know, Kaiser Gonjic, right? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think went into her being number four overall? What do what do I think went into it? To be honest, I try not to really get into that yeah, cause, because cause you know when you talk about it, it's kind of round and third round, right? And I didn't, I didn't follow. I mean, I didn't follow where did where, where was she drafted? At? What round? The first round. First round. Mm, first round and she was supposed to go second third round or projected with the mocks but then again like like i said in the in the you know just the WNBA mock reaction or not the mock reaction that the actual draft reaction i was just talking about how you know other teams don't know like maybe they were knew something that we didn't know of like how they knew right. the sparks were going to take her a couple of so they took her earlier than they you know she was projected to go because they didn't want another team to get them before their next pick so I gave him the benefit of the doubt, but also like I'm kind of seeing, you know, I'm I'm seeing, you know, just in these following days, you know, she's kind of blown up on social media, you know, and the fever are kind of like, you know, they've already used her in the Photoshop pictures with the new jerseys and it's getting thousands of likes and retweets and stuff. So like do you, hey, give yeah. the give give the give give the young lady roses i mean you know if she deserved it she deserved it you know they, like you hooper. said there's some hoopers. she's a hooper for sure yeah she's well if a he's hooper. a hooper she deserved it i mean how, how can you not give a hooper what they deserve you know what i'm saying now if you're a yeah. scrub and you getting the roses then that's something different but if you out there producing and putting it up then you deserve everything you get you know what i mean as far as in your accolades and all that good stuff okay okay I, well, well well that was just what i was uh wondering about because you know you brought up the whole scholar digging single why she was getting attention um in the past you know decade or so in women's basketball because other than that like like you said outside of those three that we named 
Maya, Candice, and Skylar. It's been uh, Elena. Well, you, you could throw in. So, so you wouldn't throw in Asia in that of like as far as like players who got like a lot of attention. Well, yeah, Asia got a lot of attention. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie on that. Asia did. I mean, it could have been a little more, but she did get a lot of attention. I, I will give her that. Being that she was a uh, you know a number one recruit sign, first time for South Carolina, which was a blessing on in disguise for us. Um, I mean, me personally, I just adore all the women players, whether you're a scrub or you're a ball. I I just love the women's game because it, it's everything is not fast and above the rim. It's fundamentals to it. That that's why you know I just love the women. Sure. So, but but I guess like breaking it down, going back to the um. And I hate to get too much into demographics versus actual ball because I know you came on the top ball, but it's like um so okay so we named those four right four right. black players versus who Del Don Brianna Stewart, um, Caitlin Clark, pa- Paige Beckers. Um, you could throw Katie Lou in it. It was giving her a little hype. Too. Kate, Kate, Katie Lou, Katie Lou. Uh, who else? Um, oh, let me think about that. I, I guess Haley Haley Van. But she didn't. Yeah, she yeah. didn't get like crazy attention. Like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe you could throw in Haley. Yeah, borderline. She's yeah. borderline. So, well, okay. So, just off of that, that's six versus four. That's right. not. That's not like a a crazy, you know, disparity. Unless yeah, I'm but, tripping. Unless I'm missing some. But, but our but our black our black players have been spaced out over years. Not like it's been back to back. You know, one year, maybe a year skipped in another one. It'd be one for about maybe three to four years, five years, then maybe another one to come. But you also got to think between those five year gap, you have the white ones that's there, they're right there. Okay, because like um, I said, you know, no, oh, no, 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 no diss to them. Because like I said, I love all the games, but I'm just stating the facts, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I I just wanted to hear your your part on that as a South Carolina fan because I know it was a large thing that people brought up when Aaliyah Boston had like. But is she having an opening tournament game this year, like 20 and 20? It was something like that, right? And yeah, uh, um, I believe it was. I believe it was a 20 and 20 game. Yeah. Or, had- or was it a triple double? No, that was last year. That was her, her freshman year. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, she had, yeah, I think she did have one of those ridiculous 20, 20, 20, and maybe about 10, almost 10 blocks or something like that. Yeah. 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 She, but, but, but you know, they, they started the tournament on the same day as UConn did. So, you know, Paige had 20 points, and it was like Paige is the first freshman to, you know, have their tournament debut 20 points or more or something like that. Right. And that was like the big story of the night. And then, you know, South Carolina fans or, you know, just other fans of the women's game was like, why aren't people talking about this with Aaliyah? So, I don't know. That, that, that's just why I, I just wanted to know your perspective on it. I always wanted to hear South Carolina, South Carolina's fans' perspective on that. Um, I mean, you know, don't don't get it twisted. I wanted I wanted Aaliyah to be front front line because I believe she's a hell of a player and and you know she had big things coming to her in the future. But you know, I try not to really get myself upset about how the college game and the WNBA how they represent certain players because you're never going to be just 100 percent satisfied because there's going to be something. So I just let the chips fall as it be. And just and you know just stay loyal to my team, and wherever it fall, that's where we fall. You know what I'm saying? Whether they're gonna love us or they're gonna hate us, it's all good. I I, re- I really rock with that logic. I feel like it'll save a lot of people stress and uh, and worry. <laughs> you yeah, know, it's, I mean, it's like you know, if people are causing a lot of unnecessary stress with you know worrying about that stuff. Yeah, I mean, because you know, I talk to a lot of South Carolina fans, and that'd be the first thing they say. Oh, they giving they giving her they giving Paige. All this credit because she's white and this and that. And I was like, man, look, man, can we just enjoy the game? I don't care about all that extra stuff. You know what I'm saying? All that I said, I told her, I was like, now if Paige start losing, then maybe she'll come back down there, drop her back down to earth. I said, but long as she's putting up those those points, they're gonna keep her up there. So and plus UConn is winning, so it's not like they're losing. So that's gonna help keep her name out there with them winning. Um, added on onto what she's putting up as far as in points, rebounds, and assists. Rebound is not too good, but I give her the assist. She's a hell of a passer. I give her that. Her, Man, her, crazy. Her eyes is crazy. Caitlin too. Caitlin, too, and no one talks about it. No one talks about that with Caitlin. 
because she because she can shoot from the logo. But Kaylin can pass the ball too. Like both of them jokers is special. I, I think they deserve all the hype that they get. Um, but you know, also you know, like but so moving back on to South Carolina. Um, what what do you think it's gonna take for um Zaya to really move to? Well, I I guess I'll throw in kind of like a group of people. So Zaya, is Destiny Henderson still coming back next year? Yeah, yeah she'll be back. Destiny Henderson, Bria Bill, so the supporting cast. We only had three. we only had one senior. We had one senior. I can't think of her name right this second because it just slipped my mind. But she had hurt a foot and she was out of the um, tournament this year. So um, yeah, my, what is her name? What is her name? What is her name? It's on the tip of my tongue. Oh man, it'll come to me as we talking. But um, we only had one senior, so everybody's coming back with the new class coming in. So. I believe that's going that's going to really push us over the edge right there. But but what do you think it's going to take for those three specifically, kind of like the three of the supporting cast, uh, Leah, with kind of Zaya, you know, up there with the Leah, really? What do you think it's going to take all three of them to take their games to the next level next season? To be honest, I believe I don't know if you know our player Bree Bill. I believe she's the X factor of us getting over the edge, regardless what Boston and Cook do, because you know, Zaya cook, she be cooking now. I'm not gonna lie, she be having her chef hat on. She be doing a thing. Yeah. <laughs> but everybody focuses on her and Aaliyah. Right. You need that one more person that, that was like Kiki Herbert Harrigan that could hit those jump shots. Now we have players that could do. I'm just hoping maybe one of our freshmen come in that's a good shot shooter that could hit those good jumpers. And I believe that will help Zaya and Aaliyah bring their game to another level. Because uh, you know, already know once Aaliyah gets the ball in the paint, she's gonna have three, four players right there on her. And she just gotta kick it out to that old person who can hit that consistent shot. That's all we need. Okay, so, okay, so so you're like, so you're saying that the one thing that's holding you guys back is having that one consistent, you know, catch and shooter. Exactly. Got you, got you. That's, that's, really, that's yeah. exactly what's holding us back because you know, Zaya Cook, you know, she she has a good jumper. She's still learning. She's, she's still coming along with her game. You know, um, Dawn Stelly's, you know, slowly but surely letting her do her thing. I think it all will – I think it all – all until this uh, next season coming up, it'll really let me know, give me a better judgment on how we're going to be or how we're going to do. Um, I would say maybe by that 10th game, I would really know if we have that set shooter that could pretty much – hit that little perimeter 15 foot, 16 foot shot, and maybe one now and then that three point shot. If we could get that, I believe we'd be okay. Cause uh Raven Johnson, I watched some of her YouTube footage. Um she's okay. She she's she's more consistent from the three, so I'm hoping she could bring something. Um our bigs, uh we we need another big. We need one more big that could kind of be there when Boston is on the bench because once Boston go out, we lose a lot of our defense as far as in protecting the rim. And I believe we need that. We need to get that one more good big. I mean, we have a, a I believe she's a six four or six three player coming in, and um, she's ranked pretty high up there. And I, and I really do believe that she would give us. I can't think of her. And, and I'm sorry to all the people that's watching, watching that uh, these names are slipping my head, is slipping in my head right now. But um. Yeah, I just believe that we get her. Next time I be on, I will have all these names right. I'm gonna have all, I'm gonna have all my uh, papers. So, so Sanaya, uh, Sanaya Fagan is that or Fagan? Uh, yes, that's it. Sanaya yes. Fagan. That's she's uh, exactly yes. who the, the the six three girl from uh, Atlanta, Forest Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Um, I have seen a couple of her YouTube. You know, she was in a little um, little couple of tournaments, and she's a beast. She's a beast. So we need her to come in and bring that that beastality mode that she, I know she got, and we're going to be all right. Yeah, she she was in an um, all-star game back in, back in Atlanta a couple of weeks ago with AEBL. Shout out to AEBL back home. Uh, but, but they had Jada Williams in there. Uh, it, uh, Raven was in it. You know, like like they had a bunch of big names in, in that uh, thing. I, I'll probably go react to it since, you know, it seems like it's becoming more and more important. But, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of who you guys have now. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so, so from the little footage that I've seen of you all, uh, Bria, she seems kind of like a, a tough uh, D and kind of slasher. 
like I want to say D and three, but she seems like a D and like type of slasher, uh, very rough nose uh, type of player. Uh, how, how would you kind of describe her playing style? I would, I, I, I would say gritty. She's tough. She's tough on the ball. She she plays good defense. Some, I, you know, I've seen a couple of girls blow by her, but I believe that's called mental. And I believe once Dawn get a hold of her and really drill into her that defense, that defense that she knows she could uh, do, I believe she'll step it up a little bit more. Because, uh, you know, like she's stepping into – she's no longer un- underclassmen now. She's stepping in – well, really all of them, right? Yeah, Zaya. <laughs> Zaya, yeah. her. Like they're all stepping into that upper class uh, Boston uh, even too. So they're all stepping into that. This is it for them. This is it for you guys, isn't it? I would say I, I believe we have like a two year window for us to to bring home a ring or two. I'm hoping I'm hoping we could bring one home this season coming up. But um I don't know. Like I said, UConn is gonna be tough, man. It's gonna be tough between them. I don't really see uh Louisville getting back, but they might. You never know. They might. But I just believe it's gonna be very it's gonna be very interesting next season. Very interesting. Cause like I said, with Az with with A Z coming in. Man, that girl can shoot, man. Yeah, I got to yeah, give her props, yeah, man. Yeah, she can shoot. She, she beats that first. I hate UConn, but I got to give props when props is due. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the reason why I hate UConn, because, yes, I'm not going to lie, they kicked out behind. They kicked out backsides a lot of times. And it wasn't, like, by single-digit points. So that 20-point blowout we gave them last year, I was, I was like, you know, it's not all the times they beat us, but I'll take it. You know what I mean? It was to a Geno team that didn't have any injuries. Everybody was healthy. And we just bought, we just bought the drama to them. They came to Columbia sellout arena, which what we do every game, we sell out. And they just couldn't take it with all of the fam. That's what we call, we call, we call our fans the fams. You know what I'm saying? And they stand up for us. And we be out there cheering for our girls, man, because, you know, we, we want them to bring another championship to South Carolina. And, uh, you, like, uh, just thinking about to, to a point you just made a few minutes ago, I was remembering it. When you were talking about you need another big, a 6'3", 6'4", like, I was thinking about all the, <laughs> thinking about all the big teams this year. <clears throat> you had Stanford had, you know, even Haley Jones, who, who wasn't even their big. You know, their big was Cameron Brink, who was 6'3", you know, like freshman, sophomore type underclassman. And then you got uh, over there, obviously with Oregon, with, uh, with Prince, and um, who, who else do you have? uh maryland maryland the whole lineup is huge as i always yeah. say and uh who else who else I, i'm thinking about and that texas obviously with you know the number one pick so it's just like that is such I, I believe that that's a thing that really separates the the good teams in college from the teams the elite teams so you think about baylor with, with uh egg boo and everybody uh like that and then obviously uconn with the twin towers of Belia and olivia and that, and that's right. Kind of yeah, stuff. you you need you need two good solid bigs, man. I believe that's just my my philosophy on the situation. Because once that one big come off, you need somebody else in there that can help grab them rebounds and protect the rim. Because like, yo, know, there's a lot of slashers that be coming to that hole. You need somebody that's gonna keep them out of there. But um, just thinking of um, thinking of that. Yeah, we definitely need another big. We definitely definitely. <laughs> need but also with Haley Jones. It might be me, but it seemed like she saved her best for the tournament. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, because, like, uh, you know, I was just talking with Joel yesterday about, you know, Kiana Williams was to talk all season. And, you know, so when I'm looking at Stanford, I'm looking at Kiana. And, like, from the highlights I saw before the tournament, it was all Kiana. Bink, 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 bink. You know, all that. And, you know, uh, the other girl, uh, Lexi Hole. And then, like, right. in the tournament, I'm like, yo, this, who is this? Haley Jones? And they're like, Haley Jones again. I was like, yo, and then, you know, like you've seen, you seen the reactions. I'm like, she could score from all three levels, like down low, push shot, mid-range game, good, pull up off the, uh, you know, off the dribble. And then, you know, three points, she can step into it, catch it. That one shot she hit on us when Tom was running down, that killed me. <laughs> that killed me. That killed me. I thought is, I was, is, I, is that the one on the baseline? That was the one on the baseline. Yes. Yeah, exactly. I remember that one. Yeah, she's I a killer. I'm trying to get her on the all, channel. I'm trying to get. I've been reaching out to her people. I was I was baffled how she got the ball. I was flabbergasted. I said, "How did she get it?" She just got that ball and just <laughs> shoot all net. And I was like, "You know what? The basketball gods is here for Stanford today." 
Cause I almost, I thought I was, I, was, I was about to pull a red fox. I thought I was gonna have the big one right there. <laughs> in my Elizabeth, like, oh my Elizabeth. <laughs> exactly, Elizabeth, I'm coming. I thought I was about to go, man. I was like, oh my god, my team is about to lose. And then when I seen Boston, when I seen the layer of Boston start breaking down, crying, that crushed me right there. That crushed me. That I felt so bad for her, yeah. man. I was like, oh my god, it felt like. Like that was my sister, man. I was like, oh my God, I wanted to cry with her. I just felt so bad. You wanted to just run out on the court, pick her up, and it's gonna be all right, baby. It's gonna be all well, right. Like, being that being that I'm in nothing but about five, six, I don't think I would have picked her up, but um I would have <laughs> gave her <laughs> You would have been hey. you would have gave her that moral support. You would have packed yeah, the pat the back. Get up, baby. Exactly. Get up, I would have given her a hug. You know, right. my head probably have been resting on the stomach, but <laughs> I would have gave her a hug. <laughs> oh man hey all right ash we, we got uh about three minutes left so um you know is there is there anything else that you want to say i'm definitely going to bring you back on where time's not so crunched on the sunday afternoon but uh, is there the main thing i want to say is i want to thank you for having me on the show and i hope more subscribers hit you up and so that way we can have some good conversations we need some more people on you know with different teams opinions and I definitely got to get on the show with you and Joel. I definitely got to do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we, we already it. talked about that. We already talked about it. Don't even worry. We already talked about it. Yeah, I heard we're, him. We're I heard him going. say, Ashy, come on, Ashy. Yeah, I heard him calling me out. So, yeah, tell Joel I will be there with bells on rating so we can have a good old conversation. All right, sounds good. Yeah, but but we had to first get your first solo. First solo, you know, so, so you know, your introduction to the people and myself, you know, isn't just, you know, uh you responded to joe you like to know you first so uh, i appreciate you for coming on everything like that and like you said every other team tennessee uh stanford arizona you know all y'all man uh iowa you know maryland all y'all fans you know come on jump on uh the channel. yeah jump on man we you know jump like, on we would, we would love to debate with everybody you know for sure for sure we, we got a long off season ahead of us so you know i'm open to everybody but if you're new to the channel, this is the Road to 2K Subs. Ash, plug in your socials or anything that, that you want people to follow you on. Um, well, right now, right now I don't have a page right now. So um, right now I'm just I'm just 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 winging it right now. I'll probably for set that love. up maybe later. For the on. love, we're doing it for the love. It's beautiful. Yeah, for the love, man. You know, because I'm not gonna lie, man. I love your channel because I never could find like a good woman's basketball chat channel. And I just happened to stumble across you and I was looking, I was like, you know, the young brother's doing pretty good, man. And I appreciate everything that you bring to the table, you know, because um, like I said, there's not too many good woman basketball pages. I mean, you know, channels. So I respect your channel and hopefully I could be on a couple more times and salute to all the fans out there and everybody that's watching or will be watching. And um, just want to also give a salute to you too, my brother, for doing what you do. And I appreciate everything all, and hopefully I will talk to you soon again. Appreciate that, King. Hey, y'all be easy. All that, wash your hands, stay six feet, all that good stuff. Until next Wear time. Wear your mask. Wear your mask.